Anyways, what's going on guys? This is Trey, back with another video. And today's the day I've been waiting for. I've been looking at pea puffers for a while now, a few months. And today's the day I actually get one. So I'm going to a fish store that has usually a lot of exotic stuff, like red tail catfish, uh, shovel nose catfish, some really cool, he, he has a saltwater, a wall of tanks, and a freshwater wall of tanks. And then in the middle, he has a big pond that's salt water with some baby sharks in it, and it's really cool. It's called First Choice Aquatics, and it's in Flemington, New Jersey, if you want to go check that out. It's a really cool place, cool exotics, and it's owned by an 18-year-old, which is pretty cool for him to start up his own business like that. He also can, um, he has tours at his house. He has a giant koi pond, and you can go to his house for $100 and sit and just relax and then at the end of the day you can pick out some koi he has a bunch of koi and it's a really cool experience and i'll roll you to getting the pea puffer now all right so we're here and right off of that that giant pucker compared to my hand huge nice planted aquarium has a giant angelfish back there but look at that dude it's crazy some snails in there but over here, you know, we have some tanks on sale. But here's, this is plants with some snails in them. Some blood parrots back there. There's some grommies up there. Those are honey grommies. Blue grommies. And this is interesting. This, I can't pronounce that name, but they have, as you can see in there, they have their little fry. So cool. And here's the African cichlids. But this, this is amazing. That right there is a Florida gar. And that is a ginormous fisher. And that, best of all, is a tiger shovel nose catfish. They are amazing. And there's a gold, golden shark, I think. Snowball plecos, Paku. Amazing. There's Paku. And here they have tiger shovel nose hybrids with so the tiger shovel nose bred with the red tail catfish. You have a giant plucko down there. Tiger Oscars, blood parrot, iridescent sharks, I think they're called. Amazing. They don't have the pea puffers now, but I'll update you when we get them. Now, this is the saltwater wall. They have a freshwater wall, and this was that the shark I was talking about. Just cruises the surface. Look at that guy. This is the giant saltwater pond. Pretty amazing. So that shark there. There's some stingrays in here too. But, oh, look at him. That is amazing. Come on the side of the water. But look at look at this puffer fish. Now this is on the saltwater wall. That's, I believe, a trigger fish. That's another puffer. There's a lionfish. They have just so much here. And then they have a dory fish over there. They have a shark right here. Look at that guy. That's a bamboo shark. Some starfish in the range down there. Some gobies. I think that's even a lobster. Something like that. I'm not too familiar with the saltwater stuff. Look at that guy. So cool. And that is a clown trigger. That's a tang up there. There's the bigger triggers. Some other fish down here. Damsels, maybe. But this place is amazing. Another puffer fish. Again, I'm not too familiar with these, but. It's pretty amazing. And again, going back here. Look at, there's this thing here. Look at that guy. So cool. There's the shark and another stingray down there. Look at that. There's the giant fish. Alright, so we're at First Choice Aquatics and they have a really cool design on the outside. But they have pond maintenance stuff, they have salt water stuff, fresh water and koi pond stuff. And now, I'll see you in there. All right, so in this tank, they have some tiger oscars, iridescent sharks, peacock bass, there's a tiger oscar, and a clown knife fish. Look at that guy. 
He's so cool. Meant some other fish, but look at that peacock bass. So pretty. And that clown knife. Amazing. All right, so these are the tiny puffers. You can barely see them up there, but I'll show you when I bag them up. They're so tiny in there. So cool. There's one on this side. There's the majority of them up there. They're so tiny. They're so cool. I can't wait until they're my five gallon. So we're back home now and I have the little pea puffer. He's so tiny. He actually looks kind of big on the camera, but he's very tiny. He'll look really good in the tank. So I have a bunch of snails in the tank and pea puffers eat snails because that's um, what they're used to in the wild. But also you want to feed them bloodworms or brine shrimp. They really prefer bloodworms, um, but they're very, it's a very cool fish and they're a small fish, but a huge personality. And now I'm going to acclimate him. And again, acclimating him is when you just put him in the water just like this. Just set him in. So his water is in the water. Um, or the bag is in the water. So then the temperatures equal out and probably let this sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Then you'll be able to release him in. Alright, so now I'm going to add the pea puffer in. And you can see I have a hole in the bag. But usually you don't want to add the water from the bag into the tank. But I trust First Choice Aquatics. Um, I don't think there's going to be any harmful things in the water, like parasites or anything else. Plus, this is the only fish in this tank, so it'd be all right anyway. So I'm just going to dump him in. And this is after about 15 minutes of acclimating. All right, and he's in. He looks, he's tiny in this tank, but he looks pretty good. He's just swimming in the current now. I'm pretty sure I have a male, and look at those pretty colors. So cool. And I'll give you an update in a few days. All right, so it's the next day, and you can see I have the tank behind me, and we're gonna do an update on the pea puffer, and I'll show you how to feed them. So this is the tank the day after I got the pea puffer. It's kind of hard to see, but there he is. You can actually see him good on the camera. But there he is, just hanging out at the bottom. This is the tank, it's doing well. Some snails in there. He'll probably be munching. But he's so cool. And then, I forgot to mention earlier, their pH, they like, I'm keeping it around 7.6. You could keep it from 7.2 to 7.6, and I'm keeping it at 76 to 77 degrees. So that should be a good temperature. And I'm feeding them bloodworms. So I just have this glass. You can buy the balls of bloodworms. And there they are. You just defrost them. You keep them in the freezer. And then I put this in the fridge. And then what I do is I just try to stir them up a lot so they come to the surface. And then I'll just try to grab one with the tweezers. Pretty hard. When you do that, if I had one, I just open it up. And then just put it in like that with the worm on there. And he should come and eat it. I'm not so sure because he's still very new and adjusting to the tank. There he is. But yeah, that's how you feed him. And this is just an update. So please consider subscribing and thank you for watching the video.